Here's some of our legends behind us, but it was one footballing legend in particular, namely Steven Gerrard, who has kick-started the craze around the Bluebird camp here in Cardiff by nominating his fellow scouser Craig Noon to take the ice bucket challenge. Steven Gerrard kicked things off by nominating Noonie. Stevie G, I accept your ice bucket challenge nomination. And he is a face you didn't think you'd see on in the city again right. anytime soon. It's Fraser Campbell. Who nominated Nikki? Fraser Campbell, I accept your ice bucket challenge. Let's go! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> And so that got the ball rolling at the Vale. Now here's Pilkington. Thanks to Pinnacle Forbay and Paul Green for nominating me. I now nominate Gary Hooper, Gary Roberts, and Sean Mother Morrison. Woo! Goes that hard. And even the development boys got involved with Macaulay Southam. Cheers for nomination, man. Uh, I nominate Jay Bowen, Bree Seeley, Tom James, Danny Johnson, Andy Bell, Dodger, Theo and Tommy O'Sullivan, Lee Parker. Yeah, let's go. Ah! Then it was the turn of the staff. Here's Mark Denham. was ever so kind in nominating me. Thanks to Mark Denham for my nomination and I nominate Jamie White, aka Flaky, David Marshall and Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer. And now we're back to Ollie, who continued to stress the importance of the fans' backing in generating that sense of belief. Yeah, I've met supporters. Uh, you go to Waitrose, Marks and Spencer, whatever, wherever you go, and it's well done, and we really cheer you on, and you, you can feel that positive and optimist, uh, enthusiastic feeling again. And that's it's great for us, because that's what we work for. We work for performances and results and for this club to be a happy place to be. Debut performances for Pilkerton and Morrison, yeah. how are they settling in? Oh, they, they've been great. They've uh, come in, showed their quality. Uh, Sean played a, a full game, did really well. Had some last ditch uh, defending to do a couple of times. He shows his pace and Anthony came on and gave us some uh, pace. With a season-long loan of KTC to St Etienne, which was announced this week, can we expect any more movement in the transfer window? You know, when you've got players uh, like KTC really wanted to go back home for different reasons, you don't want to stand in their way. We will need uh, all the players this season, uh, but I, I'm, I was happy to let him go. But you don't know, it might something, something might happen towards the end. Because we've started well, someone might just come in and pinch one or two, we hope not because we don't have to do anything. So with that dramatic build-up to the last few moments. Yeah, 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 it is. Uh, I'll be sat here with uh, my phone off on the, on the last day of the transfer window. 